Welcome to our Kids Online Cooking Club. We're working on the echo in here. We may try and do some sound tiles and that kind of thing, but bear with us, please. So I'm doing a quick one today. It's um, mug cooking. Okay, there's a whole bunch of recipes out there that have to do with cooking something quickly in a mug, whether it's a, a brownie in a mug, a cake in a mug, um, pizza in a mug. Today we're gonna do macaroni and cheese in a mug. And so if you haven't washed your hands, go ahead and get that done. And I'll be here when you get back. Okay. I'm assuming you paused your camera so that it didn't look like I was just standing here waiting for you. But anyway. Okay, so welcome to beautiful Priest River, Idaho, where it is a blue sky, sunny day, and the swallows are swinging by the window as we record this. So we're in our break room kitchen, working on the, still working on the sound thing. I think I have an idea, but we'll see. We're gonna do macaroni and cheese in a mug. If you get home from school or just a quick snack in the middle of the day or after work or whatever, you know, it's nice to have some macaroni and cheese, you know, or pizza in a mug or whatever. There's lots of recipes out there and this particular one I decided to do uh, as a test uh, and see if this is any good. So. Um, this particular recipe calls for a third of a cup of dry elbow macaroni and then water in the mug. You can do everything in this mug um, and then you boil it all in the mug and it cooks in the mug. But that takes about 10 minutes or sometimes more to do. And so I pre-cooked the elbow macaroni. I pre-cooked it in a pot and I just had some left over. So the idea behind this is you could use just leftover pasta, whether it's spaghetti pasta or shells or macaroni, elbow macaroni, um, and, and heat it up in the mug. So I will post the directions for this that will include how to cook it in the mug too, but I chose to do it this way to make it a little bit faster for us. So I am going to pop this in, warm it up just a little bit more. And it's a nice noisy microwave. Anyway, so I'm just warming up just a little bit more to get it up to the temperature that it would have been if we had cooked it in the mug. I already heated it a little bit. We'll just give it a little bit more. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add, we have four tablespoons of milk. One, two, three, and four. Just start today. Okay, and then we have, um, let's see, four tablespoons of cheddar cheese grated. I'm using sharp cheddar here. And then we also have, this is an interesting ingredient to me, um, cornstarch. And it's just a half a teaspoon of cornstarch. And that's going to be your thickener. It's it's. That's what gives it a little bit more density. Um, so you're going to stir this all together. Stir it all together. See if we can get this right. Put a little bit more cheese in there. Now, like all recipes, you can adjust this. It does call for salt and pepper when you're done. Okay. We're going to pause our camera. I put the mug back in with the macaroni, the milk, the cheese, and the cornstarch. And it's supposed to cook for 60 seconds. So I'm just going to pause the camera for 60 seconds. We'll take it out. We'll come back and see what it looks like. So stay with us. Okay, I'm back. We've microwaved our macaroni and cheese in a mug for that 60 seconds, and now we're gonna pull it out. Ooh! I might just have a new lunch thing to have for lunch. This looks terrific. I'm impressed. If you guys can see this, this is like ooey gooey macaroni and cheese, and it just has so far, four ingredients. I haven't put salt and pepper or anything on it. It's just the milk, the cheese, the cornstarch, and the pasta. This could be really good. So, I'm going to try it. Needs the salt and pepper. 
but boy, that's pretty good. So quick and easy mug cooking. I, who knew? So anyway, um, that's this week's recipe. <laughs> I'm going to go eat lunch now. From uh, beautiful Priest River, Idaho, uh, here at our wonderful library where it is a sunny day and it's supposed to be a beautiful weekend. Um, hope you have a great week and we'll see you soon.